everybody and welcome back to Crumbs and Doilies in Soho. Yes, I have come over to Soho to film this recipe for you guys because it's a beautiful empty kitchen because we are still shut for now. We're hoping to open one of these weeks very soon so you guys can come on down and say hi to us and try some delicious cakes and cookies. But until then, we're keeping the doors shut. So I thought, why not come and bake a recipe for you guys here? And today I am gonna bake one of your favorite and one of our favorite treats ever and it is a cookie dough Oreo brownie. And that's exactly what it is. It is a layer of Oreos that is sandwiched between cookie and brownie and it's absolutely delicious. So the first thing we need to do is get our tin ready. So we need to line this with some greaseproof paper like so and I'm just gonna do that with some cake spray here because I'm in Soho and we got all the stuff. But at home you can just do it with a little bit of butter or some oil. It's really important to line your tin, especially with something like a brownie, because you need to get it out and it's gonna be really hard to get out of this tin unless you've lined it. And you'll see we can just very easily pick it out using the baking paper. So let's get on with making the first layer, which is the cookie layer. And it's very, very simple. What we're gonna do is put all our ingredients here and mix it together, starting with some plain flour. And we're gonna add in some light brown sugar, some sea salt, and some soft unsalted butter, and one whole egg, as well as an extra egg yolk. And we're just gonna mix this together until it's one smooth, consistent dough. And finally, we're gonna add some chocolate chips. Now, I'm adding these at the end because if you put them in at the beginning with everything else and you whisk it for quite a long time, the chocolate can melt and you'll end up with a chocolate dough rather than a chocolate chip dough. So I'm gonna put all of those in and mix them through. And once they've evenly spread through the batter, we can get this into the tin. So you just bung it all in. So you just want to spread this out so it's nice and even and one level. Um, I find it easiest to do that with the little offset palette knife. As you know, it's my favorite tool. I'll use it whenever and wherever I can. Um, if not though, you could just push this down with your fingers or with the back of a spoon until it's lovely and flat. Now, we need to get this in the oven for 15 minutes and that's not gonna cook it completely, it's just gonna get it started so that when we put the brownie on top, we'll have a little bit of a crispy cookie and a gooey brownie. So this is gonna go in for 15 minutes at 170 degrees C. Okay, so cookie has had 15 minutes. It's got a little bit of a crust on top, but not like fully baked, because don't forget it's gonna go back in the oven once it's got the brownie on top, which we're gonna get on with making now. So we're gonna start with some chocolate and some unsalted butter, and we're gonna put those in the microwave, or you can do it over a bain-marie. We just wanna melt them until they're lovely and smooth and combined. amazing. So we will just leave that to cool down. It doesn't need to be completely cold when we use it, but just to take the heat off it. And we'll get on with whisking together some caster sugar with one egg. So I had that whisking for about four to five minutes and you can see how pale it is. And it's also gone really thick and fluffy. So that's really important. You don't wanna just um, mix together the sugar and the egg. You wanna give it time to beat up and incorporate loads of air. It's really gonna add to the texture of your brownie. So now we're gonna fold through our delicious chocolatey buttery mixture. And as always, when you're folding, just be nice and gentle, cutting it through the middle and scraping it up from the bottom. It takes a little bit of time, but it's really important because it means you're not gonna knock out any of the air that we just created by whisking our eggs. And once it's all lovely and smooth and looking like one color, we can go in with our final ingredients, which is some plain flour, 
some cocoa powder, some baking powder just to give it a little bit of lift and some salt to pull out our chocolatey flavours. And again, we're going to fold that through until it's fully combined. And when you're there, you'll end up with this delicious, thick, gooey, brownie mixture. Now we can grab back our cookie. So be careful because it might still be a little bit hot. So get your oven gloves out. And before we put our brownie on top, we obviously need to put our Oreos in. So just cover your cookie layer with the Oreos. And last but not least, it's time to pour on our yummy, gooey brownie. And then we need to spread that out to cover the Oreos and make it lovely and level on top. And now it's back in the oven for 20 minutes if you want it gooey like I do and how I think you should eat your brownie. But if you prefer it a little bit more cooked, a bit more cakey, then go for 25. All right guys, the brownie has come out of the oven and it's cooled down completely so we can get this out of the tin. Now don't try and get a brownie out of a tin when it's warm because it will just be so hard and it will crumble and it will be such a shame. Um, but I'm going to show you how to lift this out with the baking parchment. So just release it a little bit by pulling at the corners and you can see the brownie is lifting up and then we just need to, hopefully, it will all come out in one big piece. Look at that. Now, it looks kind of cool with the cookie and the brownie, but let's cut it inside because that's the best bit. <laughs> it looks so good. And I've just cut myself like the biggest piece of brownie ever, um, which is fine, but look, Look at the gooey kind of cookie here. Oh, it's still kind of melted. And then you've got the Oreo in there and the gooey brownie. Shall I just bite into this? Yeah? Okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Oh man, that is so, so good. I mean, there's not a lot that's better than a brownie, but whack on some Oreos and some cookie. Oh, you are going to absolutely love this recipe. So I've put this quantity and a slightly bigger version as usual in the description box below. So you can bake a big one if you want to. Um, and if you haven't got that tin that you need, then of course head over to cupcakegemma.com where you can get the perfect 7x7 seven seven inch brownie tin. It's nice and tall too, so you get loads of layers in there. We've got a round one up as well, a six inch round, um, which is perfect for layer cakes. So do head over there and if you want to make this but you haven't got all the ingredients and stuff then of course we have added this is our first ever brownie kit um, over on cupcakegemma.com so you can head over there we've got all the ingredients in there as well as the tin and the baking paper but it also makes a great gift for somebody as well if you know someone loves baking then you can send that to them and they've got everything they need so do make this, let us know as usual how you get on over on Instagram, tag me at Sally Dells and there's Gemma as well at Cupcake Gemma, hashtag Cupcake Gemma so we can see all your photos. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll be back very soon. I've got a lot of brownie to eat, Sam's got a lot of brownie to eat, he's looking very hungry, I'm surprised the camera hasn't dropped by now <laughs> and we'll be back soon with another recipe for you guys so we'll see you soon. Mm. Mm-hmm.